G'day everyone, Billy here from the great southern region of beautiful southern west Australia. Well fellas, yesterday I was out bush collecting some beautiful uh, seed species and doing a few other videos. But anyway, I stumbled across a beautiful patch of ground that was covered in heaps and heaps of kangaroo poo or kangaroo scat poop shit that kind of stuff so anyway fellas i thought what a perfect opportunity to try and do a bit of an experiment i did try and do this a couple of years ago um anyway i lost track of it and continue on doing something else uh so what i've done here fellas is got a heap of nice kangaroo poo what i've uh, collected yesterday we're going to do a bit of an experiment fellas see exactly what might grow out of this kangaroo poo because all these kangaroos and other animals, Australian animals, eat a lot of species of different grasses, trees, shrubs, um, spin effects, and all other types of flora species, wildflowers and that kind of stuff. And obviously when they're eating all these, they eat the seeds of the, the plants. And it all goes through their digestive system. They do a poo. And this is how a lot of trees and native grasses and flora species become well you know get pooed out the other side of their backside and this is how those beautiful grasses grow so another perfect example fellas is what i've got here as an example so right there those nuts that little yellowy khaki colored nut there with the dimples in it that's called a kongdong nut the other one to the left is a sandalwood nut and that red one is also a sandalwood nut but that's got the skin on it still so the Australian emu absolutely loves kwangdong nuts and sandalwood nuts and so mainly they love that red skin and the only way they eat it guys is to pick off a beautiful kwangdong or a sandalwood tree nut off the tree when it's ripe nice and red the Kwangdong seed is also a red fruity, has also got a red fruity skin. So basically they just pick it off the tree with the huge beaks and swallow it whole. And then when the, kang, when the emus have a poo, they'll poo out that big solid seed there or the skin will be digested into their intestines. And when, the, when they do a poo, that seed's still inside the poo and that's how many... Well, that's how a lot of these Kwangdong and sandalwood trees actually germinate and turn into beautiful trees. But where I come from in southern West Australia, because of all the massive millions of acres of land would have been cleared by farmers and mining companies and all that kind of stuff, we've got no more emus in southern West Australia, in the Great Southern. There are still thousands of them further down south in the Albany region, Esperance and other areas but where I come from is a big farming agricultural town or area um, and all the emus have become extinct basically not just emus, many many hundreds, thousands of species of animals have become extinct due to land clearing for farming and mining and so much more so this is just an example fellas, as you can see those little kangaroo poos there, you can see the little seeds right there I've just got a little twig so right there there's a little grass seed another one right there and also a nice little possible grass seed right there and also you can just see the inside of the kangaroo poo there so there's a good chance some of these kangaroo poos might not have seeds in them but it's just a bit of an experiment guys i'm pretty sure we're gonna have some success by doing this and it's just not just kangaroo poo it's all other different species of animals what eat the seeds and that's how all these beautiful native trees and plants and grasses grow you know they eat these grasses with the grass seeds in them do a poo and beautiful trees start growing and grasses and spin effects and so much more so i'm pretty sure we're going to have a good success rate fellas so we'll see how we go so basically what i do is just grab a heap of poos so it's nice fresh kangaroo poo 
and it's dry probably pooed out in the last week or so and uh, put it in the soil press it down as hard as I can and uh, just like that guys but it will go down a little bit deeper I'm still working on it or another way you can do it is crush it up with your fingers just like that but I prefer to uh, just use a whole poo because once that water hits all these poos it's going to decompose and go all nice and soft and gooey and yeah hopefully we'll have some luck but anyway that's what that crumpled up kangaroo poo looks like so like I say fellas I'm pretty sure we might have a bit of luck doing this just a bit of an experiment because this is how it works in mother nature so like I say guys beautiful emus I eat those sandalwoods and kwongdongs do a poo and that's how those beautiful sandalwood kwongdong trees start to grow so it happens all not just in Australia all around the world fellas so you ever walking in the bush look at look at the animal scat or poo break it apart your fingers and you might find something really interesting you might find even like for carn kind carn of carnivorous birds eagles and so forth I, I always do it find beautiful skulls of mice and backbones and bones inside the poo and so much more so Anyway, fellas, I'll continue doing this, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.